Hi guys, just doing a quick help file. Had a question from Sakib Wasif. Wanted to know why his rubber band powered car went forwards and then came back again. The answer is quite simple. It's a matter of how you connect the rubber band to the back axle. On my cars I always use a peg so the rubber band can drop off when it's unwound. But if you tie it onto the back axle, then as the car goes forward, it unwinds the rubber band. The car keeps going forward and that actually makes the rubber band wind back up again around the axle. It goes to a point where it then stops and then it goes backwards to unwind itself. So I'll demonstrate it on one of my old cars here. First thing I'll do is attach the rubber band to the chassis. Just loop it round itself. So there we go. And normally I'd put a peg through the back axle, but this time I'll put a bit of wire through. Attach the rubber band to the bit of wire. So there we are. So the rubber band is now permanently attached to the back wheel or to the back axle. So if I wind it up a bit and then let it go, you'll see it go forwards and then come back again. So that's what's going wrong. Now I'll replace that bit of wire with a peg and show what should happen. So I'll take my bit of wire off. Put a wooden peg in instead. So there we got our wooden peg there. Hook the rubber band over the peg. Wind it up a few times. Let it go. And there you see, it just keeps going.